what's Lindsley bring to the field and what's he what's he do? Lindsley brings just constant energy and positive all the time. Yeah. Just most, can't get a more positive kid. You know, we're loaded with talented seniors, and when they had to pick a hustle captain for the worst first week, they picked him. Really? Just because of what he brings to the team. Uh, you know, he's a wonderful kid in the locker room, on the field. His motor doesn't stop. Uh, he probably could easily be starting both ways for us, and what he's done on offense has been amazing. He's he's learned the center, guard, and tackle job since we have so many kids playing both ways. He's in, he, he helps out anywhere, anytime we need a sub. Right. You know. Defensively, you saw what he can do. He can stop a team's run game and put some heat on the QB. And he blew up at least two fourth down plays tonight, mm -hmm. and key huge spots. Yeah. I mean, is that just him sniffing out plays? Is that uh, scouting? He credited you guys. He said the film was really uh, good this week. He, we had a lot of extra film time. That might, that might be something. He takes his role in this team serious. Mm -hmm. I think all of our linebackers do a great job with that, and you know, he's just really good at moving forward. <laughs> Yeah, I mean he's a scrapper. He's a plugger. I mean he's kind of—is he old school? Very much. Yeah. Is that you know, a good he, way to describe him? Well, you saw his uniform. It's pretty dirty. Yeah. And as tough as he is, it's usually the front of his uniform that's dirty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he's got grass on his neck, and yeah. he's sweating, and it's like, you know, he's like totally old school kind of a kid. It's refreshing to see somebody like that. Oh, I mean, yeah. I thought last week you put up 500 yards. You showcase the O and you score a bunch of points. Tonight you win by defense. You're showing different ways to win here already. Is that encouraging as a coach? It's encouraging. And, you know, I could focus on the negative and say that we didn't do our best defensively last week and we didn't do our best offensively this week. Right. But what I like to say is you can do it on both sides of the ball. Uh, offensively, we were good week one and we can bring it back. And defensively, we built from what we just did tonight against a good football team. Right. I mean, you only scored 15. We had a couple of really good drives. The one right before the half was just yeah. awesome. We're just inconsistent with our physical play right now on okay. offense. Uh, I think we see the athletes and in practice we see what they're capable of. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I think we get caught up in that flash. Uh, we show we show you know, signs of the smash mouth that we like to be. Sure, oh yeah. And, and I like to think that eventually it's going to click where we can spread it out and, and run it right at you. Right. Until then, if we keep playing defense like tonight, we're going to be okay. Are you um, are you happy after two weeks? Well, there's not going to be a lot of two and O's out there. Uh, I mean, you're looking at record. You're looking at results. You're looking at happy is a better word better? than satisfied. Okay. I, I, I felt we were further along a year ago, and this year, uh, you know, I, I like the look in the kids' eyes. I, I like the fact that they think they can get better. I, I like looking at them after a win, and they're they know they they need to step it up and we don't even have to say it so you know, I, I like that about our kids I think we're going to make some positive strides and you know usually after week one to week two you make a lot of improvements yeah I think this this week you know it's going to be week two to week three for us because it's our first JV game the kids are going to see some things they didn't do and we had a whole week of gym practices last week where we couldn't really work on any of the right. stuff that we thought we'd get better at so how much of a pain in the butt was that not getting outside uh, everybody had to deal with it well, everybody had to deal with it and uh, apparently Penn Manor did a better job dealing with it on special teams. Oh, uh, yeah, they, they us, popped but, a couple. Yeah, but, you know, I, I think it obviously affects us a bit. Uh, we have to condition hard, and we, you can't do that in the gym. You can't run your plays full speed. Right. Uh, is, that, that, is that why there were some sluggish moments, perhaps, in this game? N n yeah, I mean, we, we were sluggish all week because you're stuck in a gym. We had a couple, we had some good practices, but you can't really get after it. It's, you know, sure. a basketball court with pads on. No.